The Aether Storm starts expanding 45 minutes into every match, forcing players to end their game and start over. But what happens when the timer reaches zero? What if you don't make the final exfil? How long can you survive? Can you fight zombies indefinitely? Well, today we're gonna find out. All right, this is gonna be a really weird game of Modern Warfare Zombies here. We are gonna be using the Lockwood 680 yet again. I got the slug attachments unlocked for it, but unfortunately I don't have that 10 round barrel unlocked yet. So hopefully we'll get that this round, but hopefully this thing is as powerful as everyone says. I also do have a pack a punch and an epic ether tool and a little bit of perks here. Oh yeah, this seems pretty fun. Sounds really meaty. So because we're gonna stay till the very end of the game, I'm gonna do my best to get as equipped as I can, which means we're gonna be doing some contracts, hopefully gonna get all of our perks, get triple pack a punch, all the good stuff, because we are gonna be fighting within the ether storm for a little bit. And within the ether storm at the end of the game, I'm assuming there's like tier three equivalent zombies. So let's see just how good this guy is here in tier one. We've got eight shots. We can kind of just go into, oh, it's, 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 uh, yeah, it's pretty good. Oh, and we got the dead shot recipe. Isn't that nice? And some speed cola. Cool. Now, as everybody is no doubt commented by now, the trick with this shotgun is not necessarily the slug rounds, but the cool effect that it has when you pack a punch it with the different barrel that I currently don't have, because right now we have slug rounds, which usually means the shotgun will shoot one projectile instead of a multitude of projectiles. However, even though I have slugs on this, you can see that I am firing more than one slug round. And I believe the larger barrel you have, you get more slugs. If you have like the 10 inch that allows you to hold like 10 things in your tube, then you get 10 projectiles, which is like crazy big damage. Now, is that a bug and glitch? And will they patch it? Probably, but we can enjoy it while we have it. A juggernaug recipe, that's insane. That's the second contract we've done and we got a two recipes. Streamer luck, man. I'm not making this up. Are what is this? This is the third schematic in three contracts. That's insane. Now, one of the first inclinations I had while making this video or thinking about this video was like, oh, maybe I could fight the red worm. I mean, if I'm gonna wait till the end of the game anyway, why not, right? But I figured that might skew the test. I don't wanna die to the worm and miss out on going to that final expo location and seeing what happens. So as much as I want to have my revenge on that worm, we're gonna have to wait for a different day. All right, all right, no schematic here. That's pretty good, all right. Double pack a punch this guy and we'll see how good this is on an HVT and a disciple no less. So hopefully it's pretty good. All right, disciple. Oh, you're running away from me already. Come on, come on, come here, disciple. Let's go. Let's shoot you a couple times here. Well, it helps to hit your target there, donuts. Okay, there's your helmet and it's uh, it's all right. Okay, let's see, get his hand. That's not bad. Obviously it's gonna be better when I'm shooting 10 pellets per shot. It's doing great against the zombies here and uh, you can definitely tell it does a lot of damage. That's, that's really good. That's it's pretty good. It's going to be a monster, I'm sure. What? Like, what? What is going on right now? A three plate vest, double pack a punch and a fourth schematic of the game. I'm so glad I'm recording this small detail that they changed. I think in season one, this road up here is actually drivable now before you had to like put yourself on the curb or in the median right here to actually get through it with the vehicle. It was closed off. We got another pack a punch two crystal. Well, if we're going to be this lucky, why not just head right on into tier three? <laughs> nope. We had better luck in tier two. <laughs> and finally tier three of this guy or pack punch three. Once again, I know this is not like the most most biggest potential we have. It's not even a legendary tool, but um, yeah, this thing, this thing does work against normal zombies. This is pretty darn good. A oh, pap two crystal. That's insane. Just, just sitting around in a chest, man. Oh, and oh, an epic ether tool in a chest. I'm telling you guys, you need to loot tier three. We're 25% through this and I haven't killed a zombie yet. Oh my goodness. They nerfed these outlasts so hard. A sigil, epic ether tool and a perk and a kill streak. That is, that is good. <laughs> All right, we are down to the last minute of the game. The ether storm is fairly close by in this quadrant right there. And the X fills are on the left side of the map and kind of at the bottom. So we're actually in a good position here. And what do you know? There is a three plate armor vest in this room again. 
If you saw my last video, that is pretty cool. And a large backpack too, wow. So as the storm expands, what's gonna happen? Well, if we take a look at this contract here, as the storm encompasses it, you can see that once it's over it, it disappears. Same with that contract. What happens to this mercenary camp? It's still there. Now, I believe when I was doing the ether worm a couple times ago, there were mercenaries running away from the storm. Now, I think it goes without saying, if you're not in the ether storm yet, you can still complete contracts. Now, what happens when it encompasses an exfil station is the same thing. It goes gray, meaning that exfil is offline. It's going to be really fun HVT with a tier three pack a punch. Look at that. Oh, that's so good. And so if you're doing like tier one contracts, absolutely. Just take your time. You still got another bonus, like 10, 15 minutes. Oh, another exfil just went down. You really do have a deceptively long amount of time to stay in here and get stuff done. Now, of course, if you want to like grind tier three or something, then yeah, that's probably going to take you out. I mean, tier three is already completely enveloped right now. But if you're on this right side of the map, you've had such a long time to get things done. We're already 10 minutes after the storm started expanding and it hasn't even touched the zone one area yet. All right, now they just enveloped this last exfil. The storm just overcame that last exfil. So now we get a final exfil all the way over here. And it looks like there's a couple people still in the storm right now. I think one of those guys took a story mission. I have no idea what this guy's doing though. He's just in the storm. It really is a cool atmospheric event here. Just seeing the final exfil helicopter, the storm encompassing the whole map. That's the church right there. This is really cool. And you know what? Let's put in a turret circuit just for fun, huh? <laughs> we got this final countdown. Our guy is still down there. <laughs> Music's going pretty hard. And of of course, as we've seen in a previous video, this final exfil is absolutely insane. We've got manglers and disciples and all the stuff here, but for this gun, yeah, it's not going to be an issue. Look at all of this. Oh, yeah. This epic countdown, epic music. You know what? I think the shotgun needs more bullets. I definitely should have had the two with all the bullets in here. Three, two, one. Oh no, I missed the final exfil. What are we gonna do? Got all of these zombies right here. Look at that, look at that. Oh yeah, that's sick. So we're not quite in the storm yet. The counter's at zero, so I'm just gonna make my way over here. And uh, we've got a durable gas mask. We've got quite a good setup here to survive. We're gonna see just how long uh, we can survive in this e- What? That's it? What? Hold up, what? That's it? I mean, I'll be honest. I don't really know what else I expected, but like the storm wasn't even encompassing the whole map yet. We spent the whole game setting up. We didn't even get to fight anything. I didn't even go in the ether storm. That's so anticlimactic. It just ended. Well, if you want to see a much more pleasantly surprising video, be sure to check out this one and stay beautiful. That was such a waste of everybody's time.